Greetings, bloggers, vloggers, followers, and potters. Dustin here from Dustin's Dynasty with the second half coming at you with this week's vlog. Uh, today, we're going to talk about my wellness update. I haven't done a wellness update in a while, and I feel uh, it's impartial to do one because it is spring. I haven't done one in a few weeks, and before I was planning to do uh, that, the 5K the last time, well, things have changed. Uh, we've had some colder weather here in southwestern Pennsylvania, so uh, we've not been able to train in the manner that we once we once could. Um, April weather is very judgy here in southwestern Pennsylvania. It can be cold. In fact, this weekend it's going to snow, but not stick to the roads or anything or to the uh, the grass. So, you know, we're going to have some snowfall, but not bad at snowfall, but it's going to be cold. It's going to be uh, below 40s, uh, 30s, 40s, low, high, high 30s, low 40s. And so with that, you know, it's not optimal weather to train but and you know you don't know what you're going to get on this on the when the race is going to happen on the day before easter but uh you know you just go with what you can but yeah you know just you know just playing to get you know trying to get some interactivity is what the main focus is now and you know sometimes you know just learning to have new habits and trying to develop new habits is another way of you know working towards getting towards those wellness goals there are some new habits i'm trying to pick up uh you know as as many know uh water is a good benefit for you know uh physical health and wellness so we've been i've been trying to drink more water or water water based uh beverages that are not so calorie laden uh over the past few past few weeks and you know i'm trying to be mindful of what i'm eating as well but uh, as far as, you know, the water thing, trying to pick up on a little bit more. Our day program is encouraging. They're being very interactive with uh, the fellow members and I about, you know, drinking water and how important it is to our body, you know, and to keep it, to keep it hydrate, to keep our bodies hydrated and the benefits that water provides to us. So, you know, while I'm there, I am drinking, uh, you know, a good bit of water if I can, um, you know, because it's, it's just really simple. It's a small building. Uh, you know, you're accessible to the restrooms, you know, if you need them, because water does flush you out. But, you know, just sometimes, you know, just being, being aware of you know, things and being able to do things like that is really pays off in dividends. Um, you know, just being mindful of that, you know, being mindful of what you're drinking, because that's, that's what it can easily uh, build up calories. So being mindful of what, you know, what calories or amounts are in your drinks and not to go overboard on them. You know, uh, it's been better with me. I, you, as many know, I do have a sort of uh, addiction, and uh, I've curbed that back a little bit, not to the where I'd like it to be, but it has been, it has been curtailed some. Not going to make any promises because I, I feel when I make promises about you know cutting my soda, my cutting my soda consumption, that I set myself up to fail. So I think just not even mentioning it and just not thinking about it and just cutting it back uh, you know on my own just making it slow and not broadcasting the um what i'm going to do specifically just not thinking about it and not trying to really engage and not really have it accessible as much as i was was uh you know whether that's uh limiting cutting the bottles or cutting the packaging that I would bring into the house in half, um, or you know, just cut, you know, just not not order as much, you know, coming into the house, try to cut down, or you know, on diet as well. Well, maybe good. It's not totally beneficial, but and it, it really doesn't do the the flavor that I want. But at least is you know, sometimes I will cut that in half too, to just whatever is available at the, at the present moment. Um, it's not that, you know, I'm totally addicted. I am addicted to it, and I will admit that openly. I have a problem with soda. Um, I do like it. It I, I just have to have that flavor. And, you know, it's known that, you know, it's very well known in my family that I do have a problem with it. And, you know, it will, if I, if I don't have a grasp on, you know, not having that around, I will just drink it nonstop. So that's important. Um, you know, getting back into that, that other habit that I've been working on is not, is being more mindful of eating 
uh, you know, certain portions of food and not overdoing it, um, not going back for seconds, um, not not making sure that not eating the whole thing unless you've really uh, cut back a lot of food um, throughout the course of the day, not cutting, you know, cutting back and not, you know, if you're cutting back throughout the day, then you can have a little bit more. But if you don't want it, you, if you don't, if it's not in your brain to have a second uh, helping, then you don't, then you just don't have a second helping. I don't need that if I don't, if I'm not, if my brain's not telling me, if my brain's not thinking about it or not wanting it, um, then I just don't want it, you know? And if I, and it's, it's a lot of, you know, and then you just not gonna feel good later. Um, you know, not rushing into things, you know, that's, you know, I do struggle with that too, not rushing into, rushing with food and eating a lot of food at one time, that can be a struggle and, you know, it, it really, it really is, but, you know, in reality, you know, that's just how, you know, life is, um, you know, I, I know I struggle because I, I feel it feels so good. The, the the bought the food that I'm consuming feels so good that I just can't stop getting enough of that flavor. And when I stop, you know, getting and when I and I and, you know I'll get it all into what's gone. It's like, and that's oh, it leads into the clean play club. I've not I've stopped not eating everything because I've been a, like a disposal. But I've just been like you know trying to not eat if I'm not if I'm done with it I'm done with it and you know throwing food away is you know something I'm becoming to accept I mean I was not that my my parents just, I think just wanted to make sure that I was fed growing up and I was on a lot of uh, medications that were very um, appetite reduced and uh, for the last twenty years it's been quite the opposite. But and and I haven't slowed down, but now it's like the first time I've actually you know not considered eating uh, massive amounts of food as I once was, and it, the weight is coming down uh, gradually, not as not as good as I would like it to be, but it's it's pretty good. It's coming down pretty good, and I'm pretty uh, satisfied with what the numbers are so far at this point. Um, I mean, it could be better, and I know that. But I also have to do the work as well. So, um, you know, it's just what it is. And, you know, we'll get there. I mean, we're walking out on a trail. We're trying, with the weather being as bad as it is, and, it's, you know, with it, with it being as chilly in most days and schedules. And, and now I'm doing things, you know, getting into doing more uh, social activities and such. It's uh, become one, you know, going, we went like last week and we went uh, this week once. And you know, just trying to get that in more as much as we can, because you need to be active. Uh, it's very important to be active. I have to say, because if you're not active, then you're just going to, uh, you know, gain weight and not not be not be you know not take care of yourself. So uh, you know, I just know I have to be active and do something every day, uh, something small, uh, get those steps in, you know, whenever I can. And you know, just be be mindful of what you know, getting that activity and doing what's necessary to uh, survive. Um, you know, you know, other than that, I just try to do my best, and I think the best is the best I can do. And you know, I'm happy with my body the way it is, but I know I need to improve it. I need to work some more on it. It, it needs definitely needs some work, and you know, it maybe. What may work for me may not work for another person. So, you know, be considering that, you know, as of a factor is very important and being aware of, you know, what, you know, what I can tolerate versus what somebody else cannot tolerate. Having safe foods or foods that I know that I can eat and they, they don't affect me badly and they are healthy too, if they can be. Um, very, all very important factors in making sure that everything uh, goes according to plan and is, uh, you know, safe and, you know, quick foods that you can go to that, you know, won't be a problem or won't have a sensory issue either uh, is very important. You know, just having, just having all those things together and, you know, just being mindful of everything uh, in, to get in, in tandem is very important. 
so I want to thank you for listening. As always, uh, be sure to uh, like this video if you want to. Uh, be sure to tap the notification bell for more notifications. Subscribe to my channel. Um, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Dustin's Dynasty. On the web at DustinsDynastyUSA.com. On Pinterest and TikTok at Dustin's Dynasty ASD. This, uh, pod, this vlog will be streaming as a podcast on many platforms, including Spotify. I want to, at Dustin's Honesty ASD, I want to thank you again for listening. Be sure to have a good week, everyone.